Hello everybody, Mr. Chris here. Back to play Rusty Lake Roots, second episode, hopefully. Well, not hopefully, because it's been fun, but I was going to say hopefully the last episode. This is probably going to be the last episode. We got just a bit further than halfway last time. Uh, Alright, I think I've got all my pieces ready to go. Various paraphernalia such as clue, screenshot, ability making, and of course chat. Let's see. Alright, <clears throat> the last thing uh, to check I need your help with. This game's sound is absurdly loud, so if it is too loud or too quiet, let me know. And inconsistent. It starts very quiet and then it just builds up. Reminds me of uh, Dire Straits. I want my uh, money for nothing, is the name of the song. Um, so let's see, so we're collecting body parts. I think we've got two fresh victims. One is the son of Emma. Sounds fine. Good, 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 good. Um, my volume on my computer is currently at 3%. So this is, um, this is very loud under normal circumstances. Um, and who, who is this? I'm not entirely sure we know who this victim is. Um, but I want to play I'm gonna play the second one here. So this we just killed Ida and her husband uh, Samuel. And I'm kind of curious as to what going to happen with their eyeballs. So Leonard is a new player, I believe. I don't think we've seen Leonard yet. Who, who was this? Was this? Who was this? This must be their child. So we just haven't met him. Okay. All right. He's got a little clarinet looking thing. It, it must be uh, the son of Samuel and Ida. She is, um, she's got some terrific clothes and hair as usual. Um, this fellow, you know, when he was born he had a little thing on his head, but I feel like it just got worse with age. This looks like a, a brush on top and some kind of a purple tentacle thing. Oh, he plays the A. Okay, that's going to be important. A E. Hold, hold on, someone is at my door. Sorry for that interruption. Um, I don't get a lot of visitors to my apartment, and um, this wasn't really a visitor, it was somebody trying to sell me something, uh, which is kind of uncommon for an apartment building. They have to get in the building, but they are resourceful. All right, where were we? So, um, this fellow plays A and E. 
Oh, and we can, oh, this is going to be interesting. We're actually getting him to play a little tune here. So, so it's actually, now it's a little bit low for me. Um, how does it sound for you all? He's only playing when I'm off the screen. Oh, I thought you said it sounded fine. Um, okay. Let's... Let's try this. And if it blows, if it if it winds up blo blowing out your eardrums, at some point. But how is this? Kind of digging this. This is cool. Does cool mean it's low? Or does cool mean it's good? No, I'm just clicking. Oh, no, I'm hands off on this screen. This is a cheerful little ditty. Can't really hear her at all. Who gets stabbed with the violin though? Well, you know. I think, I think we can, we can assume that Ida and uh, Chester or whatever isn't going to die because we kill them in. Okay, more. Okay, I'm gonna go to here. See, the, the problem is, I don't know what you hear, because you and I hear different things. Um, yeah, which is a shame. This is the only game where I've had to make it like that. Usually, I hear what you hear, but that's not the case in this game. And so that's what makes it a lot more difficult to figure out what a good setting is. So I can keep turning it up, and it's not going to affect me. That's, that's kind of what I'm saying. So I can I can actually make them as loud as you want, and it won't affect me um, be, because it's disconnected. All right, just tell me up or down. Um, I'm gonna try scrolling around the room. Leave it like this. Man, she's she's looking uh, a mite ragged. Is this the mother? I think. I think maybe this is the mother. She just wants some music. She wants some little ditties. Okay. Oh, here's the here's the puzzle. But uh, we're missing a piece. It's the mom. The mom and the daughter are the splitting image of one another. You're right. You're right. Oh, here's the other piece. And here's going to be where we put the part. All right, what do we got? Oh, it just tells us. So the violin goes E, G, E, G. The tuba goes A, E, A, E. little uh, 
CD, CD, TL, TL. I can't hear her at all. So this must have been the prequel to um, our voodoo magic last time. <laughs> it's such a good song that uh, it caused magic. Um, what happened to mom and dad? There, there's currently blood. Isn't that, isn't that the title of a movie? All right. Oh. Oh, she's not. Oh, God. What? He took her teeth. Well, you know, the thing about teeth is you don't really need teeth to live. The blood, the blood is in the future. This, this blood is in the present. Um... And maybe it means there will be even more blood. But I think we should put these teeth in this jar. Um, oh, that's it. We just needed the old lady's teeth. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. So here's here's where it's potentially loud. But uh, all right, so we st so it looks like we have the sun, the two suns. Boy, Nightbot is eager, isn't he? We've got the two suns, and we we don't. Oh, this is like the child that Albert grew, I think. So three progeny from the three uh, twins. I guess they're not really twins if there's three of them. It's like the Nightbach work, work in peace. He's like Santa Claus. Can you imagine this fellow traveling between channel and channel? Having to see um, everybody's channel and get to the next one before it's too late. That's the life of a bot. Hello, Jar Kid. You're creepy as fuck. He wants something, I think. All right, we got a Ouija board that we can spell stuff with. Yes. No. Okay. What is your first name? Oh my God. It's it's not a boy. It's a girl. What is your first name? It's my first name. Aldous. Aldous. I'm, I'm Aldous. I bet. How do you spell Aldous? I have no idea. But I feel like we're Aldous because we haven't seen Aldous yet. Oh, did I erase it? I think I erased it. God darn it. Hey, this is such a long name, too. Why couldn't he be named, like, Vi? Um, I'm not sure what's happening. I'm just going to quit that screen. And... What is your first name? Let's do a little bit of more exploring, then we'll come back. So, William is the fat guy who in the clock. But as far as I remember, we haven't seen Aldous. Do you, have you, do you remember if we've seen Aldous? These windows can't be opened, but we need the key. All right, that's it. We just have to spell the name. I'm going to try... Aldous had the dog. No, James had the dog. But James is dead, too. So we can't be James, because James is dead. 
I mean, I think. Who knows in this crazy mixed up world? Is that how you spell it? Aldous? Aldous? If we have to rely on memory names. Yeah. Um, did I misspell Aldous? Let's see. A L D O U S. I mean, I'm not spelling out Vanderbloom. If this game thinks I'm going to spell out Vanderbloom, it's got another thing coming. Should I just put in Rose? I'm actually not sure what to do when I've finished spelling the name. Like, no, that's that erases things, I think. Goofus's name? Samuel is the, the normal brother. Emma is the sister. And the horrible person's name is the devil. I, I have no idea. Oh, we can we can look at the family tree though. Let me try spelling Rose. See, what do you think I should do after I spell it? You think I should hit anything? Maybe just. What is your first name? All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try one more time, Aldous, and then I won't hit a button. Um, we used to have a Ouija board, and. Uh, kept it in the attic and I'd go up there with my friends and we'd try to summon spirits and one time we did and that's when I lost my soul all right so um, that did not seem to be what we're supposed to do so um, I'm gonna hit this button and look at the tree. Your mom wouldn't let you get a Ouija board? Well, good on her. Alright, his name is Albert. Albie, Samuel, and Emma. It all started when James planted his giant peach pit. Uh, it could be Albert. Albert. I mean, nothing, nothing happened. What is your so first the name? first time I did it, the first time we got into this room, I just did some gibberish, like, look, 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 and then I hit yes, and it gave me, uh, it gave me that like yellow screen, which which is usually means you solved a puzzle. All right, so I'll do Albert with a yes this time. This is really the first time we've been stuck by a like a, like a methodology problem. Like, what does it want us to do versus how do we do it? Albert Einstein. It just disappears now. Um, I kind of, I kind of feel like we don't know what we're doing. Okay, hello, hello, William. What's up, buddy? Okay, maybe William. <laughs> maybe it's William. <laughs> Let's see if Alice does it. <laughs> I think, I think it might want us to put William in. Let's try that. All right. Now, I know how to spell William. It's Will La E 
Um. Hello. There we go. You did. That was the first thing you said, and I rejected it because, um, you know. All right. So we we spelled William. What is your last name? Oh, I just got finished telling you I did not want to type this in. Vander Boom. Vanderloom? I can't even read this cursive. You, this, what is this bullshit? Vanderloom? Oh my god. Okay, fine. You think it's a B, Vanderboom? No. <laughs> but I'll trust you. <clears throat> Vander. Boom. Is that an O? Zero. Okay. All right. Make fun of subtitles. Uh, true. True. Maybe we can get the subtitles on the thing. All right. She, she liked Vanderbilt. Do you want my key? Yeah, shit. Of course I want your key. That's literally the point of your existence. I could just tell you these things, but I don't know why we're going through this Piggly, piggly, wiggly. God almighty. <clears throat> okay, maybe I don't want your key after all. Maybe I'd rather stay in this room. Where we're safe. Um, I'll just be taking this, thank you. And then close this door. Can't close the door. Okay. Okay. Live. Yes. That is what I would like to do. <clears throat> I would like to live. And it would be best if you did not kill me. Okay. Just gonna... Just gonna unlock this little treasure chest. This treasure trove. I have no idea what this means. Time pieces. Mm. I think I'm going to screenshot and uh, pop that up for now. Okay. All right, I think we know what this means. That, that didn't really help. What do you want? What do I want? Uh, maybe time pieces? I mean, I could use a sandwich. Like, can you... Oh, is that an eye? Time. If you could make me a sandwich, that would be... That would be fantastic. Like, with some turkey. Uh, some mayo. Also, if she can speak, I don't understand why she can't listen. All right, she's not time pieces. <laughs> Voice acting? Yeah, I guess so. But it, it's it's funny because it ruins the puzzle. Like, why can she speak if um, if we have to talk over this Ouija board? Yeah, the jar kid. Um, all right, she doesn't. She doesn't want me to want time pieces. So perhaps it's sacrifices or rebirth. I'm asking for rebirth. I mean, I probably want a body part. It's not rebirth. It's you've you, you only left for like a second, so nothing really changed. Now she's asking, "What do you? Want? What do I want?" So that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. We have two pieces of paper. One is up on the screen. Oh, it's reversed. I, I have a hard time with mirrors. So one is on the screen. The other 
is I thought this was kind of self-explanatory. We all know how alchemy works. Um, you need heart, foot, hair, eyes, all these things to, to, to create rebirth. So what do we want? We want rebirth. We want sacrifices. I was saying we want no, maybe to live. Maybe I want to live. Oh, I want to live. The amount of bottles is the amount of letters in time keys. Wow. That, I think you cracked the code. How did, how did you, how did, first of all, I'm, I'm making fun of you, but second of all, how did you figure that out? Did you just count these? One, two, three. And then you counted time pieces? What made you think to do that? Oh, I see. That's, that's, that's important. We have to keep her happy. All right, we want to live. What do you need? What do I need to live again? Sacrifices. Jesus Christ, this is just like a spelling test. Sac. Five. This is not. This is not my strong suit. Okay, sacrifices. Okay, all right. What's next? Orange. Ah, oh, so in fifth grade, I lost the spelling test because of the word orange. That word is bullshit. Just first and foremost, that word makes no sense. What do I need to open the gate? I guess time pieces. I, I, can't I just tell her these things out loud like normal people talking? We could have coffee. I don't. A little coffee cake, maybe. maybe. That sounds good. Time pie. Time pie. I could go for some time pie right now. I don't know about you. Uh, I hit the E, but it didn't show up. I'm a little bo bothered by that. Okay, good. Work. How the fuck did I misspell orange? I'm not going to um, uh, cater to your desire to neg my 10-year-old uh, self. But that word is bullshit, by the way. All right, what are you going to give me? Yeah, well, that's not acceptable. All right, Rose is going to help us with time pieces. All right. So we have two little childrens to kill, or we could get some clocks. Any, uh, any opinion? I believe that Rose is the um, the created. All right. I know that there's lag, but it's only so long I'm going to wait before I choose. All right, so Rose is uh, a little bit grown up now. She seems like a perfectly normal little girl. I don't, I'm not going to cater to your desires, Dolly. Well, yeah. Uh, okay, got a, got a little bear trap looking thing. Okay. There's somebody sent us a note from inside the well. Please help me. Drink, food, wooden stick get out. Um, okay. Seems seems uh, seems like getting out 
would honestly be your first priority because you can get food. Yeah, I think I think it is Frank. Because uh, you can get food outside the well. I don't need to give you food in the well. You know what I mean? What's up with the well? She she thinks. Well, maybe. I mean, uh, he's like. Um, Silence of the Lambs. He's been kept down there in the well. We should leave him there. He's a well boy. Okay. All right. This dog. He still. Still looks like he has a secret, and he's oh, he's, he's has a lot of urine. Okay. All right. This tree is uh, just being a tree. All right, we got a mug. I'm pretty sure we need urine in the mug. And a worm. Worms give diamonds. Okay, all right. Do, am I, I, really have to, I really have to do this? I have to aim it? Okay, great. All right, so now we have a cup with liquid. Check Frank's note. Are we going to give him this to drink? I mean, you can see the note on the screen, right? I mean, it's uh, some some of the hardest puzzles are the ones right in front of us. I don't, Delvina. I don't. Uh, let's let's give this. Let's give Frank a little cup of urine to drink. He he's he's thirsty. It's disgusting. He wants um, a wooden stick. Well, that's... Oh, we can only give him one thing at a time. Um, okay. He's thirsty, so, um, you know, it's just a neighborly thing to do. So he gave us these influence. I don't... I can't take them, but we can probably put in the next thing. Send this down. Okay. Give him, oh, the worm for food. Uh, he doesn't like the stick. Can't give him the worm, though. What, what's wrong with the stick, buddy? Maybe we need to roast the worm. Why do we have to roast the worm if he's going to drink, be drinking dog piss? Yeah, he doesn't like the stick, even though he request, specifically requested a wooden stick. Okay, so we're going to be cooking something on the fire. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, the dog? That's, hey dog, there's a little worm over here. Wouldn't you like to eat the worm? He says no. Chop the wood. Chop the tree? Okay, alright. Wouldn't, I can't, I can't imagine cutting down the whole tree. We still have the axe. We could kill Rose. JK, you can't kill Rose. Um, a fish. How do we get a fish? I was hoping we could put the fish back on the trap and use the fish to catch something else, <clears throat> like a whale or something. But uh, I believe we have to set the fire. You have uh, a matches. Um, okay. A redhead without fire. Can't can't ha hack up the dog. Uh, okay, I gotta remember. I can I can try dragging stuff because I always forget that, but. Uh, maybe he wants them in order. 
So we need to give him the food next. But I don't see any... Oh, I have an idea. Maybe we can um, be all old school. Wait, where's our stick? Oh, we use the stick as the spit. Okay. I was going to try to make a fire with the stick, you know, like... Try clicking things without the hatchet selected. But why... If you had the opportunity to hatchet things and you chose not to, are you really living a full life? Can't move the pots. I feel like the dog is the is the bad guy now. Um, can I hatch at the tree a little bit more? No, I cannot. Well, I believe we are stumped. This is uh, where it's going to have to end. Um, we can't beat this game, so we might as well just uh, just quit. So her hair is red, and I feel like you know people with red hair are often called fiery. Um, And so if we turned her upside down and rubbed her on the sticks, I believe we could start a fire. So I can't drag any further to the left. The rock behind the plants or trees. The plants. This one? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've often thought in a lot of these that are set in the yard that at one point we're going to have to use the fence. And it's we're not going to think to click on the fence because it's a uh, background. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Um, I guess he doesn't have a match. Otherwise... That's a that's a good idea. Can't rotate, can't drag, can't. We were really on a roll last night, and uh, we've hit a, we've hit uh, two speed bumps today. Um, as far as I know, they're solvable in in any order. We haven't hit one that uh, that we got stuck on. I mean, we have no evidence. Uh, sometimes it's just as simple as clicking on, you know, like a pocket, but um, she's a bit simple in her dress. So, can I try to, I tried to, can't, can't add the hatchet. Plus, you know he'd just kill himself. He's just like that. Frank Frank was weak. Frank is weak. Um, actually, we don't really know how long it, it's been because I haven't been keeping track of the years. I don't know about you, but they seem to kind of come and go. Yeah, we can interact with the dog. Uh, I bet we're just missing. I mean, dogs can't, dogs don't have fire. If dogs had fire, humans wouldn't be the apex predators that they are. 
to be chihuahuas, obviously. So that's that's not the solution, building it. Yeah, skyfish. Skyfish. Um I mean, I guess it's possible, but my guess is that the authors would not intend that to be a possibility. <clears throat> I think it's far more likely that we just don't see what we need to click. Okay, Delphine is cheating. She has, uh, she has lost internet points for that. One day you're going to want some internet points and you're not going to have any <laughs> because you cheated. Um, any, any idea what these things are? So the note seems to suggest that... So we gave him drink and he actually gave us back the thing that's next to food. Stop cheating. I'm going to time, time you out. So we still have the axe. I feel like that's something. Um, what could we ask? We could ask this lady a question. Uh, we could, I mean, I think I tried axing the tree. So don't, I mean, these look like the things that we have the spit on. Yeah, seriously, he just drank dog piss. I feel like he'd eat the worm. Uh, I, I found, I found, I found the matches. They were in this pot. So I think I had to click like this one particular place. I had been clicking the dirt, but I think you have to click the lip. All right. 
let's make some fish. The fire is really well done in this game, I have to say. I mean, that's... I think it's um, on par with like Jurassic Park special effects. Alright, let's put these down. Let's bring it back up. What have we got, buddy? Alright, so he's building some kind of a message. Fish bones and piss branches. I have no I have no clue. Alright, but we have to give him the stick now. Okay. Stick goes down. Puppy comes up. Can't explain that. Oh, hello! It has been a few years. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, Frank. <laughs> Are these the 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 locks, the, the flowing tresses that we're going to use to create our masterpiece? All right, I can't zoom out, but it looks like we've got um, another another story on the branch of uh, Albert. Um, or we could go ahead and uh, deal with these other branches. So, uh, one, two, or three. And this is a choice that I'm, I'm asking you to make, Dylan. He must have eaten his glasses. <laughs> Uh, Leonard. Who the hell is Leonard? Is this the Spanish... Oh, we have to build a motorcycle. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be good at this. You, you put the dingle hopper over here. This is a fender, obviously. Uh, Samuelson? Oh, maybe. It's just, we've killed so many people at this point that I don't, I don't really remember who's, who's still alive. That's got to go on the front, right? That's like a headlight. This is a muffler or something. None of these pieces work. This thing is bullshit. All right, let's try over here. Oh, dear God. Okay. All right, let's, this, this is a screenshot of a one, I'm pretty sure. Okay, something like that. You can't quite see it, but uh, I'm going to try again. Uh, that's a little bit better. That's, that'll do. Sure, there's instructions. I mean, you don't know how to put together a motorcycle? Ugh, pleb. I guess these are the instructions. Maybe I should screenshot this. Um, you'll you'll live. You'll live. It's not that big of a deal. I can CC, that's what's important. Backstory. All right, let's try to put this thing together. So we've got uh, like a headlamp that definitely goes here. Oh God! See, it's floating. I think we have to let it float before we can let it sit. All right, the dingle bobber goes about here. Um, the flashlight goes here. Perfect. Um, the woman's flat shoe goes about here. I, I have literally... Okay, this goes here. I don't know what it is. Okay. And the grenade goes here. Perfect. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's ride, let's ride away. 
Okay. You could also see a flower pot. All right, we'll go ride it. Go ride on it because it's fixed, buddy. It's perfect. He's telling me it's not perfect. I think, but this is uh. Oh, we need more parts. Oh, we're missing parts. Okay, let's ask the pigeons. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I need another flashlight. So, I think this is the other puzzle. Wow, okay, I have no clue. So he, he can't interact with him, but he needs his motorcycle to get away to the war. Um, so to get the flashlight, we need one bird. This is this is a puzzle. <clears throat> um, the problem is if I take a screenshot. Let me try this. Um, this is this is this is science, folks. This is uh, real touchy stuff. That's the best I can do. Uh, I keep feeling like you're calling me Schwimmer, like David Schwimmer. So, um, there's colors, there's lines, there's letters, there's bird counts. So, A... There's, there's also a circle on this, and then a tilde on this, and there's angles. This, this seems, at first glance, this seems a little bit complicated. Um, so this, this angle was associated with green. Oh, the birds have colors. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, let's match up colors to angles. So red, green, blue. Oh, the, they're already correct, aren't they? So we can move them. So maybe... So, okay, all right, I was being silly. I couldn't see screenshot, but you could see it. Um, but, but now I can see it. Well, yeah, like for the green one, I think maybe you're right. But, but we only have one, oh, this one has a, a white dot. Oh, I can draw on this too. Oh yes, oh yes, this will be useful. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm gonna just try ringing the bell because this is all matched up color-wise. Okay, bring me back something. Uh, 
Okay, that did not do anything. So, so you think maybe we should try to get A first? So if we get A, I, ha I have no idea. Um, it could be that different birds are meant to be parts of the, the... Get D first because it takes four birds. Or why not get C first because it takes one bird. Um, so what, what can we do with these birds? I can drag them. Can I... I can't double them up, but I can drag them. Yeah, and I, I was thinking maybe you, you put them on the roof to make them chill out, but you can't seem to do that. The white bird in the bottom middle. Why? No. I'm pretty sure the white bird was here. Nobody was here. Um, and green bird was here. I think this is how the how it started. Just because it matches up. Yeah, but I, I think you're maybe you're matching up incorrectly. You're, you're angle blind, I'm color blind. So maybe between the two of us um, we can tell. But this there's no, this is this line here. I'll highlight it in yellow. This is not, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have highlighted it in yellow. I can't undo it, sorry. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's right here. That's an arrow. Oh god, this is terrible. Just put a, put a, is this helping? This is, this is getting worse, I think. Uh, Okay, good, perfect, perfect. <laughs> um, maybe I should take another screenshot just to clean that up. Okay, good deal. So, just like that, we're back. Um, and I'll do a black pen. So anyway, you can, can uh, crap. You can see my cursor. So that's what I'm going to use to highlight. Okay. So. Yeah, so there's nobody on this one, um, and I, and I think that's what this uh, this door is. Whew. So why does here now? Do the shapes matter? I don't know. Like maybe what we should do is if we send. Can I hide birds? No. I mean, as far as I know, no. There's no way to, like, do anything but put them on these doors. And they have to be um, one, no more than one, no more than one bird per door. 
Those are the restrictions. Oops. So maybe the idea is, like, how would we get a bird to A? Well, we could use the white bird that flies in this path, but send him out from a different door. You know, something like that? Uh, like, if we sent him out from maybe this door, uh, we'd get it. Um, but, but then I don't really know what the... Maybe this is the, the order in which we need these, or... I, I, I don't know. But let's... Uh, but I think that that's it. So, like, for example, green, if you sent green out um, this door, Right, it probably hit D, something, you know, something like that. Um, you don't see my cursor? I see it in OBS. So let me see. It's set to capture cursor, so I think either it's just too small or your eyes are too big. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, you don't, yeah, okay, gotcha. You don't see my cursor when I'm in the game. Um, unless I do this, I think. Now you see it. But uh, I had to click, had to focus it. But you should see it in in this in this tool. So I was just saying, like, if you, I don't know, let's send send the white bird out of the this door. It'd probably hit A, and that's the only way you can hit A. Um. So, you know, B goes in a straight line. I mean, sorry, red goes in a straight line. S does a, gosh darn it, white does a zigzag. Green does a cutback. And blue? Well, we don't really know, I guess. This goes off the map. I guess it just goes straight. Or maybe it cuts a little bit to the right. It kind of looks like it cuts a little bit to the right. At any rate, I think that's the puzzle, is, is which board Boyd gets which letter. But how do we, what about these numbers that are involved? We've got, uh, one, one bird, two birds, three birds, four birds. Maybe that's the order in which we should do them. So let's let's try that. Let's get the flashlight first. So that would be C. So how do we get C? Um, or do these birds somehow have numbers? So they all have different necks. This one has a, a white circle. This one has a um, a white band, this one has a black band, and this one has white, black, white. I feel like the necks are important. Like the necks maybe say something. Uh, 
um, green can go through the bottom of the paper back up to the top. You think it wraps around? I mean, that's, I think this is meant to be a map of like the world. And if you went, if you went down here, you would come up here or am I misunderstanding? Like green, I think green could be used to get D by coming, starting over here and then cutting back. Okay. Okay. Um, so red Oh, that's ooh, that's an interesting idea. You're saying Okay, okay, okay. Uh, four birds get D. How could four birds get D? Well, I guess, how would red get D? Would be my question. But I like the idea a lot. Um, we can, I, we can sort of test that theory by trying one of the simpler ones, like C. How, how can we, how can C be gotten by one bird? Um, maybe white? Or blue? So, like, if blue goes out of the door red's in? Is it just going to, like, I, it's weird because I don't know what to expect. Um, okay. I mean, I guess we could try white out the... Like this. Hey, we got a flashlight. Um, that's good. Okay, we'll just leave it on the ground there. Okay, all right, so that's, um, so far your theory holds up. Let's try the two bird one. So two birds to get to be. Um, now, red's already at B, so we could just leave it there. Um, who else can get to B? Maybe blue out the... Um, maybe blue out that door, and... The red out that one? I don't think that angle's uh, big enough, but let's try. Green at the bottom right. Okay, okay. I, I'm i not good enough at geometry to see whether that makes sense, but it sounds plausible, so let's try that. <clears throat> there we go. All right, I think we might have a, have a plausible theory here. So we got a pipe. Put the pipe here. Uh, now let's try to do A. So A needs three voids. Um, 
I don't think blue can get to A. So we've got to get to A using the other voids. So what about um, green from the red door? Um, red from the left door. And then white from the other thing in the box. Okay, failure. All right, so now I'm going to listen to Delvina. Um, red top left. Oh, when you say top left, you mean these doors? I thought you were referring to angles. Are you referring to angles or are you referring to the doors? Okay. All right, so the red is in the top left, right? Um, okay, I agree. I, I agree with red. Um, so, for green, I think maybe we put green here. here. Let's try that. How long do I need to wait, I wonder? Okay. You say white top middle. Okay, well, I agree. I've got white top middle. Um, so, so red is probably right. White is. Probably right. And green. Well, I'm just so bad at like geometry that I don't know about green. I don't think you can you can do it with blue. Blue cuts to the right. So the problem um, right, because blue blue goes straight and then slightly to the right. I mean, we can try it. Uh, well, actually, we can't because we can't move uh, can't move red. So we've tried green in each door, I think. Um, so it could be that white is wrong. Um, I mean, it could be that white is there, right? Probably not, but I mean, yeah, I'm not good with this either. <clears throat> All right, for sure, red is correct because it's straight. Um, So, and for sure, blue cannot hit A because uh, it veers to the right, and that means we'd have to send it out over here. It can't, it can't be blue. It can't be blue. <clears throat> um, I mean, look how... Perfectly straight that line is. Um, A would have to be over here somewhere. Kappa. Um, okay, so so 
So if it can't be blue, we just have all we have to do is figure out where white and green go. And uh, a gringo is someone who's not from Mexico. So that's easy. So then the question is, what about white? Um, green, I have no clue. I feel like I need to take it. I need to take it and, and rotate it to see. Um, but I'm pretty sure. I just I just can't do it in my head. I, I lack that ability. Um, but what I do have green can only be bottom middle or bottom left. Um, it could be. I feel like it could be top right. I feel like green could be top right, right? I mean, again, I don't... Hey, Pale. Welcome, buddy. Wait, I don't, I mean, yeah, Pale, do you have, are you good at uh, geometry? Rotating things. So here's the thing, is I have a computer sitting in front of me. I should be able to... Uh, like rotate these things, but I'd have to open it up in um, GIMP or, or something like that in order to do it. Um, okay, so Pale, we have these birds, red bird, white bird, green bird, and blue bird. And these birds follow these patterns. So, so the red bird always goes straight. The green bird always goes straight and then cuts sharply to the left. The bluebird um, always goes straight and then cuts slightly to the right. And finally, the white bird is drunk and goes higgledy piggledy. Um, and our goal is to get three birds to A. So, which birds and, and where do they leave? They can only leave from these uh, six angles. Is that, is that complicated enough? This is, a, this is kind of a, a lot of pieces to this puzzle. Um, Oh shit. Okay, never mind, Pale. I got it. <laughs> we need we need you for the next one though. We need you for D. Alright, I got the telescope thing. Alright, so now here is the the thing we've been working up towards. We have to get four birds. Um I'm not I don't even I think I moved green or something. Yeah, you're just good luck, Pale. I don't know. I don't know. But now we have to get four birds to D. So let me know when I can touch it, Valdina. All right. So um, white goes through D if it leaves through the this one. Okay. So so now white is correct. All right. B hits D, 
It doesn't doesn't really ever hit D, does it? But I guess it's meant to be through here. That is kind of strange. I feel like um, red can't actually get to D. But I think it's supposed to be this. It's just it doesn't. This is, look. See, that's a different angle, Delvina. See what I'm saying? That's a perfectly straight line. And uh, the angle is not, is not the same. All right, moving on. So that's, uh, that's red and white. Um, now blue, see, I feel like blue is actually this angle. Maybe blue is meant to be this. You agree? Where would red go? Red is the one we cut the head off and eat it. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're supposed to like moidalize red or something. All right, I'm going to try blue here, red here. Now, green is a little tricky. Uh, green's got to be this one, or maybe this one. Change computers, this is too small. Piece of cake. Oh, I'm so good at geometry. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. So now I'm going to switch back to uh, to this. Boop. Um. Okay. Good. 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 And let's build a motorcycle. Um, so this this thing connects to the combobulator like that. This one goes obviously into the rack and pinion. Uh, the second flashlight goes here, clearly. The scuba snorkel is in the middle, as as you'd expect. Okay, good. All right. Uh, good, good, good. So. He's ready to leave for the war, but the problem is if he leaves for the war, we can't get his gubbins. So, are we going to stop him? No. He didn't have a mustache there, did he? Okay. Alright, so... One, two, or three, the choice is always yours. Um, not so sure about that bird puzzle. I think it was a little bit um, janky, but we sussed out the intention at least. All right, Frank. How did Frank survive the well? I think that's what we're about to find out. 
he reminds me a little of Tom Hanks in Castaway, but uh, okay, still got his teddy bear. Okay, so we've got a wire and a sharp rock. Yeah, everyone has tiny legs. I feel like the the artist must have some kind of a aesthetic. He wants snowshoes. I don't know why he'd want snowshoes. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so water, food. I, I guess we just have to get these things. Um, it's kind of neat that we're doing the, uh, the puzzle that resulted in the other puzzle now. You could cut your beard with a sharp rock and look a little more presentable, Frank. Um, so I don't know what else to click on. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. What? What? Oh, shit. He's been feeding us. This is fucking Albert. He's been feeding us berries. Why does he want to keep us alive? This is creepy. He wants a mug. It puts the lotion in the skin. Can't do uh, the impression. Oh my god, he makes this, like, goofy little sound. Can you hear that? Um... Don't know what to click on. What do you do with the stick? Who wants a cup? How do we make a cup? Where do we get a cup? Doesn't he get a cup from up, up above? A cup above? What's a cup? A mug. But these are, Delvina, these are the symbols that he sends up when he asks the surface. Right? So, like, he, we gave him a fish and he gave us back fish pads. Um, we've seen this. I can't, I can't go back because that my snipping tool is kind of shit, but... We've seen these symbols before because that's what he sends up to the surface. See? I mean, I can't seem to give him anything. He just pops up and down. Anyway. Um, I, I, I literally don't know what to click on. Paper note? What paper note? 
the the airplane? You can't read it. It just bounces back and forth. This is the note that we're going to end up sending to the surface. Um, he sends a note to the surface saying these things because we've played like the next part in some in some sense. But I don't know what to do. I thought maybe you sort of you collect these pieces or something, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Um, he doesn't seem to want it. Well, he wants a cup. I think we may die here with Frank. Um, so we can we can leave Albert here. Like um, we can either have him not here or here. Yeah, eventually we have to send the airplane up. When I click on it, it just goes back and forth. Oh, shit! We're playing... Oh, this is so cool. We're actually playing the other half of the puzzle. So. You can imagine us um, up there doing the parts in in response. So so he's thirsty. So he asked them for f uh, water. And to do that, I think I put in this and this, or maybe not. Oops, that got the fish. Um, so for water, I do Y and then this. Okay. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Very thirsty. Okay. And now I need fish bones. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, he just drinks it. Oh, he just drinks it. Ugh. Okay. Fish bone. So it goes fish bone and then Y crossing thing. So that, that, that. Send it up. All right, and we have the stick. I don't know if we need these things, but let's poke them in the eye. Nope. Uh, all right, I, I, I. Uh, been kind of getting carried away with doing stuff, so I haven't looked at chat. You devour that fish. Uh, hey, I forgot better. Is that you with a beard? Um, 
Maybe. Could be could be me one day. Oh yeah, let's see what Frank wants. Okay, he wants the stick. He needs the stick just to get over to the bucket. Okay. Alright. Frank. We've uh, we've completed Frank's adventure. Alright. Uh, one, two, or three. We can continue with Frank. We can continue with Lin Leonard. Or we can continue with um, uh, creepy-ass devil Albert. One, two, or three. Albert doesn't seem troubled by his escape. I feel like Albert is going to come out on top until he doesn't. S somebody's going to get Albert's gubbins, I think. Okay, looks like overwhelming um, agreement. Uh, everybody except for I forgot better. All right, so Albert has been damaged in some way. And um, we're probably going to take his bits. We have a jar. Let's fill up the jar with some parts. Okay, got a key. Oh, we didn't actually get the key. Okay, there we go. Uh, what's under the cloth? He doesn't seem to be moving around a whole bunch. All right, we have some symbols on a box. Sold. Chest of drawers. Scissors. Oh, let's cut his mask off. And a taunts, ta uh, tongs. Who the F is Albert? Albert is who we were calling... Um, uh, ga uh, Goofus. He's the devil. He's the mask. Yeah, the mask guy. Leonard is the son of Ida and Samuel. Oh my god. Alright. Are y'all ready to do a little little cut? Oh, he looks fine. Oh, he's alive. It looks like the light maybe is bothering him. But we can't can't change the light. Start by cutting off the mustache. Wow. All right, let's cut up his leg. He's got some band-aids. Everybody knows that uh, band-aids are the first uh, first order of you know protection from infection. I'm not exactly sure what to do here. I assume we have to cut them open, but I don't know. Uh, I think we have to do something to Albert. I don't think there's anything else we can do in here. Sorry, not Albert. Um, Leonard. Any ideas? Okay, let's see if I can cut off his mustache for Delvina. No. Sorry, Delvina. Open up all the pockets. Um, oh. What bullet? Oh my god. How did you know there was a bullet in his arm? You're cheating. You're still using the walkthrough. Get out of here with your cheating nonsense. Ugh. 
could have been a hole could have been anything. It could have been a it could have been a spear wound. How did you know there was a bullet? Cheater. On Delvia's side. Alright, well. She's got support, I guess. Can't say anything. Um, are we are we trying to help him? I sort of thought we were trying to kill him. I think we're supposed to patch up. This is not how band-aids work, by the way. But I think we're supposed to cover all the blood with band-aids. Boom. See, I could be a medical doctor. I, I know this kind of shit. Alright, so now he's basically better. And yet he's still complaining. So he's just a wuss. Oh. Oh. I didn't know that's what you did to amputated legs. You just put a cup on it. He's still complaining. What else? What else does he want? He's per. He's a hundred percent. Can't do tongs on his face. Can't do scissors on his face. I'm kind of idea out of ideas. He seems to be in perfect physical condition. Something to cover his arms, but like what? Like I tried cutting up his jacket, but I don't see anything else in this room. Oh shit. Um, I found the other, I found the other part of his leg. That was, that was, uh, that was really funny timing. That was really funny timing. Okay, so he's, he should be fine now. Yeah, he's blissed out of his mind. He's so happy. Uh-oh. Pick this up. Oh dear God. Just slide that back into place. It sounds like family guy. Is that what you're going for? So I, I feel like I'm supposed to do this better. Like we're back in time now or something, or he wish he was home. Wishes he was home. Um yeah, we have a, a lock here. Oh, we actually have pliers and scissors. That's anachronistic. Um, I think it wants us to pick up the grenade, but maybe it doesn't, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, now it's just a more complicated puzzle. Uh, there's two people, I think, involved. Um, there's a lady person. And... Oh. Okay. 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 Perfect. Um, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh, great. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Is there a key? Can I get out of this horrible escape? The sequence.
Uh oh. All right, Dumpy. He's got he's got himself antlers now. I feel like this guy we don't know this guy well enough for him to be a major character. We have to unlock this, right? This has to be like important. There's no they don't just give you a locked chest and say, "Oh yeah, that's optional." Keep pulling the grenade. I don't think I have any options. <clears throat> and it's different every time, so I don't feel too bad about it. Um, okay, hello, brother. Who's his brother? Save Leonard. I'm his brother? Oh! See, I, I knew that I was the old guy. I bet this is like one of the old original ones. Russell Crowe? Oh, dear. Oh, pale. Need him to find the treasure. Oh, this treasure too? This game gets better and better. Now I know where this key goes. This is a nightmare key that I got from God knows where. Okay, gas mask. Still wishes he was home. So this must be a gas grenade. This is... Oh, this is the combination to the lock. Um. Not really sure I know where that piece goes. Uh. That's just just gonna set that right there. Okay, uh, that that looks pretty good. Uh, uh, there's an order. I think I'm supposed to put these in a certain order. Okay, okay. Perfect, perfect. Just just the way they intended this to be done. Uh, okay, good, 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 aha, triangle circle, asterisk, oh god, I don't think they meant for me to, <laughs> I don't think they meant for me to spin the camera right there, um, where's the key, where's the lock? Triangle, circle, asterisk, asterisk, it's his foot, it's his foot, he, um, he lost it in the war, but we found it, so, kind of, Really, he's not any worse for the wear. He still got his foot. Um, it's put me back here again with the foot. Still wish he was at home. I guess I'll click on the grenade. Oh, this is just to um. Just in case you forget, you can keep reliving this over and over and over, I think. Can't get him this foot. All right, ease up, ease up, buddy. So the foot goes in the jar, of course. Always go, always put, 
always go for the jar. That should be your first thought. If you've got a jar filled with fluid, you know, you got to put shit in there. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Now, interestingly, he's still alive, so... We didn't have to kill all these people for these body parts. Like, we could have taken the eyes without actually killing them. Eyeballs go in the belly button, yeah. Of course. Um, okay. So there's another branch in this tree. So we're back to one, two, three. Frank, Leonard, or Creepy Devil. One, two, or three. Step right up, folks. Got a one, we got a one, do I hear a two? We got a three, three, three. Two threes. Uh, anyone else got super delay? Um, I, it, there's no delay for me. Perfect uh, zero lag. So I think the problem must be on your end. <laughs> um. Are you not on source, Delvina? Oh, interesting. Um, all right, that's good to know. That's good to know. I might change my um, bandwidth if if you if Delvina you have to go to 360. Um, then I might just change my bandwidth requirements because that seems kind of ridiculous. But all right, at any rate, we've decided on three. Checkmate. Frank and Albert. So Frank escaped. Albert probably wasn't counting on that. Um, oh yeah, I was going to say, you can see your text. Um, okay, just uh, living with old pops here. Eight seconds? Yeah, I don't think it's going to get better than eight seconds. He's eating potatoes. Um, okay, he's better than berries. He wants to kill... Honestly, why are you here, is my question. I mean, I guess he grew up in a well, so he doesn't know any better. And he wants to kill Frank. Frank's a flower baby. So Frank is Emma's son? That's true. Uh, there's only one jar here, so only one person's going to die. Who do you think it's going to be? The devil? Or or uh, Tom, Tom Hanks? We've got a chess puzzle. Sort of. Um... Tom Hanks will never lose. <clears throat> this game's been a bummer, so Frank will probably die. Yeah, I feel like I feel like asshole will die, but maybe it's time for the asshole to get his comeuppance. Because, like I said, I think he's gonna he's gonna win until he loses. All right, we have a top, top, a top, bottom, top puzzle. Um, actually, I think I might know how to solve it. Top, 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 bottom. Bottom. So what I'm thinking is these indicate like up, 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 up. No, okay. But it's like it goes. All right, let me try again. Um, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Brilliant. <laughs> All right, that one. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. <laughs> I've uh I've seen a couple puzzles in my day. All right, cere cerebrum, cere cerebrum, seraphim. Um, and then this is the chess piece. So, okay. Okay. Um, let's put the chess piece on the chessboard. Oh, is it one of these? We have to hit all these X's with the horse. The knight. Can't drag it yet, though, so I think maybe the puzzle hasn't quite started. Oh, okay. Um, he still simply yearns for the death of Frank. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't drag, I can't click the X's, I can't click the spaces. I think there must be another piece or something. Um, should we just knife the horse? God, his eyes are black. Should I knife Frank? Oh, there we go. Peel the potato. Ah... Okay. So when I click, the horse, the knight, um, just wiggles. I, I assume whoever wins the chess match you know, wins in real life. Like, whoever loses, dies. Okay. okay. Ah! this. So, so, yeah, so he's the king, and he's the horse. The knight. Yeah, I, I don't seem to actually be able to click on anything, really. But I did see the horse move a little bit, but I think that's a bug. Um, oh! Don't click on the X's. So... <laughs> You don't click on the X's. I thought the X's were good. Even though X is universally the symbol for no, no, bad. So all I can move is the knight. It seems like the uh, the king is just stuck in the corner. Um, but I kind of want to make the king win, but if the king can't move... Exactly. X is a symbol for X marks the spot. Uh, or, or And it's a cross, and Jesus died for our sins. So, you know, got that going for you. Well, I disagree, Yay. I thought that they were click, click on X's. I thought you had to cover all the X's, like a, a knight's traversal is, you know, I don't know, it's a thing, it's a, it's a chess puzzle. All right. So I assume we have to kill him, but I'd like to not kill him. Um, and looks like we get to spend infinite uh, infinite moves. I, I wish this was um, head on instead of at an angle. 
Um, so this is the only move I can make out of the corner. So I could go here and then to here. Um, I was kind of hoping that if I put him like this, maybe the king could actually take him. But um, no such luck. It looks like Abbott is going to win. So... Uh, we need to get we need to get him here uh, if we get him here he'd be in check um, so if we can get him here or here 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 okay well I really I'm really sorry I feel like we had no choice in the matter. I tried to save Frank. Um, okay. So I still have the knife. I'm going to try to can't knife him. I mean, he's been a dick this whole game, let's be fair. Um, <clears throat> stand of the painting. I tried that. Dragon too. Um, I, I think we have to stab Frank. It's okay. Can't stab Frank. Oh God. Okay. It, it actually is very creepy when things change when you're not looking. And I, it's such a trope, but it really is creepy. Um, I think we're supposed to look for the, the word, which is cerebrum. So, let's see. I can't read behind the damn horse. So, re, b, r, u, I don't see an M. Yeah, you have to move like a knife. I can't. I don't see the. I don't see the M. So maybe the M is under. Is supposed to be under him, and that needs to be our last move. Does it? Am I just missing the M? You think the M is under the king too? Yeah, I don't see it. Let's see if I can reset. All right. So if that's the M, let's do it backwards. So the U that I have to hit to hit this is here. Okay, and the R that I have to hit to hit that is here. The B that I have to hit to hit that is here. Jesus Christ, okay. E. Uh, here. So C E. All right, let's. I, I want to hit this E C E R. C. I mean, the only E from, from the C... Oh, there's another C. Okay. B... Um, R... U... Wait, was that the wrong U? Oh, it's not. It's not. It's. It's not an M under the. Under the king. 
Unless I misspelled it. God, this is this puzzle kind of sucks. It'd be nice if it said what you've typed so far. So there's no M on the board. I made a mistake. Well, I didn't go backwards when I moved. I, I tried to figure it out. All right. It doesn't, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, it actually, it lets you move. Okay, I see. All right. I could have made a mistake. I could have made a mistake. Uh... C E R E Sarah B R I wanted to get to here. I want to get to that R. Where? So where am I? I've already I've, I've already messed up. C E. Um. That, is there no is there no U from here? Yeah, that's that's part of the problem. All right, so let me just trace a little bit of it backwards again. So, uh, so if that's the M, the U that I need to hit is this. So if I can get to here with the U, and if I if to get to here I need to get to this B. All right, so we're, we're we're hitting the wrong B. That was the wrong B, wasn't it? There's there's two Bs next to one another. Oh no, that's it. No, oh, that's not it. Yeah, the problem is I, I traced, I mean, I traced it back to begin with, but then I couldn't remember what the path was. Um, so it has to be this square. It's not that the last move was wrong. I don't think, um, I don't think I was anywhere close to the right place, Pale. I had, I had made a mistake far earlier. So, I think what I'd like to do, if, if I, to do this right, I would just take, take a um, pen and paper and write down as I go backwards. So, from here, I need to be coming from here. Um, from here, right, so the word... Uh, they scrolled off the screen now. Now I don't even have the word in front of me. Can someone type Cerebrum? Thank you, Pim. Alright, from here, you. Uh, from here, R. So I could use this R. And then a B. Um, okay, so that B. And then an E. It would be much easier to do it with pencil and paper. But uh, then it wouldn't be quite a show, would it? So, maybe Frank is, um, 
is going to come out on top here. But Frank, I feel like Frank's probably in a bad place. You know, spending 30 years in a well. It's, that's literally somebody gargling. They recorded that for this game. Okay. You'd think his brain would have like a like a dark shadow on it or something. The hero of the story died? Pale, I'm starting to get, get worried about you. All right, so, so Frank's alive. Rose is alive, right? So the flower child and the um, science child are, are both alive in this branch. So you know the drill, one, two, or three. Um, these, these branches are coming together. I wonder if they will actually join. Two for three. Innocence dies while villainy thrives. You realize that the devil, aka Albert, has killed like five people. Um, and also masturbated into a cup in order to create a child, uh, which which may be the uh, the weirdest thing this game has done. All right, three it is. So Frank and Rose have fallen in love uh, because there's literally only this family. All right, we need a record. She wants some music. He's cut off his beard, which I'm very disappointed in. Um, hold on just a second. So, sometimes I get little messages about network stuff. But now, now it's not even responding. Okay. Hopefully that'll go away. Let me know if uh, it keeps buffering. So, 10 sacrifices. I mean, did Leonard even... What is it? Was it Leonard? Did Leonard even really sacrifice anything? I mean, he's still alive. Give his foot. I mean, all right, 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 right. All right, we need to. Um, okay. I mean, he has a new foot, Delvina. I made him a whole new leg. So he he really has nothing to complain about. All right, that's a reset switch. So it looks like I can only move in steps that go out. Um, right, okay, reset. Uh, I can't remember what this game is called, but I've, I've played this before. So you have to go all the way till you hit something. And then you try to fill in these uh, slots. Um, all 
These are, aren't particularly challenging, though. But okay, how many how many panels does this thing have? Okay, all right. The Vanderbim's family time. Oh, yeah, this was a goodie. This was a, an oldie buddy goodie. This is probably my favorite recording by the Vanderbim's. Uh, stop it. Okay, I'll put the thing on. Oh, yeah. I'm helping him dance. He's just he's just going left though. Oh. I'm actually controlling. I think I'm actually controlling him. This is uh Frank. Don't you recognize Frank? No, you can't those arrows are for moving the scene. I just click the elbows. I'm not sure what the point of this is, but uh, well, only a little bit her cousin, right? Click the arrows themselves. You can't. I think my guess is that it's for another puzzle. Run again the music. What's the music? What? The record player? <laughs> sorry, sorry, Phil. Probably this isn't a this isn't a word they teach in uh, modern uh, German English classes. Record player. Oh, that's that. Yeah, okay, I got you, Delvina. Um, when you said use the arrows. But yeah, I got you. All right, let me move that so I can see it. Okay, right, 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 left, left. Uh, shit, I've already messed it up. Right, 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 left, right, left, right, left. Uh, I'm, maybe I missed a, made a mistake. Uh, but I'm with you. This is totally... Oh, there's two of them. There's two. Um, there's two arrow sets. Let's try this one. Right, right, left. Shit, left. Okay. And suddenly she's had so much. I hope you have to be on key. Like on the on the beat. Uh, because it's really it, it would have been really funny if you had made that joke after I got the key. Um did you did you see this key before you said that, or can't? Maybe we should just pretend you did. Okay, we're gonna pretend that Delvina saw the key first. Okay, gotcha. All right, so let's play this record and then dance the other dance. Oh, I know, I know Delvina. Okay, so this one. Oh, this sounds like something out of Sam and Max. Oh, 
I think I may have just squashed the screen a bit. Hopefully you won't notice. Okay, sorry about that. This, this really sounds like Sam and Max music. I can't, I, I'm trying to figure out how to get all this on the screen. Okay. Um, Donkey Kong Country? Wait, why don't they like this? Dance. She needs a dress? She needs a bop and dress for this? Uh, she no longer looks quite so horrendous. Or depressed. Okay, right? Right? That's not right. What the hell? Let's just get you over here. Alright, come over here. Okay, I'm gonna go right, right, right. Left, right. Left. Left, right. This is, this is hard. More music? Really? Oh god. The finger has an X on it. What do we do? Um, what do we do, children, when your finger gets an X on it? Oh god. Oh god. Uh... Uh, that creeps me out. Ugh. Okay. All right. Um, these two are just about together. One, two, or three. Um, I feel like these two are very important children, but I also think they're gonna die. Got a one, we got a two. Hey, little Lucy Lou, welcome. Two for one, sale, down at the corner store. Um, all right, Delvina wants five. Delvina, I'm sorry, but uh, you can only choose one, two, or three. All right, we're gonna go for one, because we've got two votes for one. Sorry, little Lucy Lou. All right, Frank, uh, so this is before Frank has um, reintegrated into society. So he's still got his beard, his wonderful beard. <laughs> uh, he wants it to be warmer. So I'll close the window, it's that warm now. Now, it's just like we're playing oxygen here. Uh-oh. All right, everybody. This usually means that someone dies. We'll turn the temperature up. I guess we need some coal or something like that. Check his hair. I don't think there's anything in his hair. Maybe I misunderstood. Oh, his hair. Oh! <laughs> I get it. 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 Yeah, because somebody has to donate hair. I bet it's his beard hair. Gotcha. Uh, I think I think he can't die because we've seen him in another episode. But maybe. I don't know. All right. We can do water in the bucket. I guess. Now we have a bucket of water. Yes. Oh. Just, just gonna, just gonna get this key here. If you could excuse me for a second. Uh, okay. Uh, no worries, little Lou. I'm glad you, glad you came. 
Yeah, so we, we saved Frank from the well. He was the little boy that we threw in last night. And um, we saved him from the well, but it took us like 30 years to do it, so. All right, we got matches, and there's two locked drawers, one containing coal. Uh, let me just check that one, okay. All right, so let's put, pretty sure I know how this one's going to go. We'll put the coal in the furnace, light it up. It goes all disco on us. I think we want that high. I don't know. Um, Albert was feeding him berries. <laughs> piss and no, he didn't get piss and fish until he escaped. Until that day, he escaped. Um, otherwise, he would have. If he could have gotten piss and fish every day, he just would have stayed down there. All right, this has got to be warm enough, right? Whoa, a little complainer. Um, bucket on the stove. Oh. Oh, what if we could... Right, okay, so we filled up with water. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. So now we boil the water, or whatever. Heat it up. Now it's hot, I guess. It, it's, I'm surprised it doesn't say hot water. Can't give him the bucket. I thought maybe we could heat up his bath water. Maybe it doesn't have any water in it. Maybe I just have to be patient here and just wait. Because, I don't know, like when you try to fill up a pot with water, let's say you want to make some pasta. Sometimes you have to wait a really long time for it to fill up. And it's not because of anything weird, like the game designers didn't, you know, code up bucket filling conditions. It's just sometimes pots are kind of big. But I think I think this is just the designers didn't fill up filling conditions. So. Oh shit! It's full. It actually has water in it now. All right. I talked out of my ass until the until it worked. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait long on this one. You know what they say. Everybody avert your eyes because a watch pot never boils. Hot water. Hey, now we are cooking. Frank. Still, he still wants it hotter. Uh, we need another key, I think. So my guess is we have to fix this window. Um, but I don't see how we'd get anything else in this room. How about you give us you give us a hammer and we'll fix the window. Oh shit. Okay. We have to drag him. Gotcha. This is just like the band-aid puzzle. Um Alright, he's got the key. And the key scissors and I think we all know what's coming up oh he's he's a he's a regular barber that's looking pretty sharp Frank all right that one wasn't so bad Now that's not a sacrifice, Delvina. If we're talking about sacrifices, that's not a sacrifice. Cutting your hair. Uh, you know, seems kind of low on the scale. Oh shit, all the branches are coming together. Um, I 
wonder what's going to happen when they get to, to the point that they connect. Sacrifice and beard is the biggest sacrifice. Uh, Pale wants D. We got the brain from Albert, from Goofus, the devil. Hmm. Leonard. All right, so Leonard is um, Ida and Samuel's son. He's got a frog and a coin. What's the frog doing? What's that about? Okay, this looks like a puzzle. This looks like a puzzle. Uh, yeah, um, Frank killed Goofus. He choked. He choked him to death. Well, to be fair, Goofus did push him down a well for thirty years. Oh my God, Pale. Um. All right, we'll probably know what that means in a second. Oh dear God. So from the rock, go three, I think we need to record this. So this is something like, from the rock, go three frog leaps to the right. How's that? Um, that's what she said. All right. That's also what she said. That's the best I can do. That's not the best I can do, but that's the best I'm going to do. All right. <clears throat> okay, we got a little a little buggy wuggy. Picked up a little buggy wuggy. Uh, okay, and then we can make these dudes hop, and then these have to hop over. Oh, these are cute games. I like these little games. Uh, not particularly good at them, though. I've, I've just lost. Okay. Luckily, they reset, just like um, good little grasshoppers do. Just lost. I told you, I'm really bad at this. All right, so try take three. So it has to come over here. Let's do this this time. OK, this is much better, much better. All right, and what did that do? Oh, we made them very happy. Oh, we got an insect. Okay, perfect. Fantastic. So he wants he wants that watch. So I still don't really understand the story. Is he trying to bring someone back then, or? I have no idea. Oh God. How do you reset the frog? This is crazy. All right, three frog leaps to the right of the so-and-so. The sign on the wash is also from the first alch alchemical scene. Yeah, I don't... I'm so confused about time in this game. Um, oh, you can drag them. Oh, you can drag them. Put the frog on the rock and go three to the right, two, three. Oh, this is actually a really cute. This is really cute. So now I can put the buggy wuggy there and say one, two, three up. This is really cute. I don't think I've seen a puzzle like this. Now we want a cricket. 
three from three from that. One, two, three. Two buggy wuggies from the cricket. Ish. One, two. Two frogs from the thing. One, two. One buggy wuggy from the frog. Three crickets from the buggy wug. Oh no, don't dig. Did I, did I mess it up? You didn't replace the bug with the grasshopper. I can't see, you can't dig. Um, so maybe I messed up the puzzle, but if I click the shovel on this, it's just going to move. Should I, should I, so put the coin. Oh, can I, oh, oh. I got dirt. Oh no, I didn't get dirt. Yes. Uh, who said put the coin? Pale. Pale, you're a genius. Certified. By sucrose. All right. I could have sworn it was just dirt. I thought we had failed. <clears throat> I really thought I thought we got dirt. I thought we had dug the wrong spot. All right. I like the bug puzzle. That was cute. Um. Oh shit, two of the branches. So now two of the branches have merged. So now we just have one and two. Things are heating up in here. Ugh. Everybody wants one. All right. So Frank, a very dapper gentleman, at this point is uh, doing some creepy stuff. So it's a picture of his mom and him with, his, with some zigzags. I'm not sure what's going on there. Cuts I have to make maybe? Okay. Don't know what that is. Candle holder? Something. Okay, these are shapes that, these shapes happen to look like letters, but not all the letters. Okay, what, what do you want, buddy? He doesn't even know what he wants. Okay, that's not helpful at all. This, this is the guy, I'm, this is the guy I think we are, um, or is trying to get resurrected or something. It's got to be. I mean, just just look at, look at him. Doesn't he look like the kind of guy who kills people to resurrect himself? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, it's a rotatey spinny. This is a staple of the uh, Hidden Escape games. So we kind of have to find, like, what's a good way to rotate these that connects everything. So that's not it. That's not it. It has to be... Oh god. Uh, that doesn't work. So I think none of these work. So what about... Wait, there's two lines coming in here. So there's only one line leaving. Um, but you see how this disk has two lines that touch the inner circle? So that means that we actually don't have to line up all the lines. That's At least that's what I think. We just have to get the inside to the outside. Uh, which is, I think, a harder puzzle. 
because we don't have enough information, as much information. Um, but it's not so bad because it looks like we only have a couple of choices on the outside. This might this might take a while. Yeah, I think I I think you're right, little Elizabeth. Um, let's see. Oh dear. So I only have these two options here. Yeah, you can yeah, you can go back like this one comes up and then back in. Um But the nice, what I was trying to say is that the nice thing is that this outer ring only has two valid positions. So this is one. And, uh, oh, you think, you think all the paths have to connect? I can't rotate the center. Um, all the paths can't connect, so it's not that kind of puzzle because of, of this. But... Um, just some, yeah, gotcha. Uh, okay, so I'm basically gonna play with this till I solve it, and then um, when I get stuck, I'll just ask chat what you want me to do. All right, uh, that was an accident. That was an accident. We got a we got a telescope. We got some cards. Tree. I don't. Oh God, we're drawing shapes now. Hacks. Uh, cube. Okay, go away. How? How the hell do you draw a cube? Oh. Oh. That's pretty cool. I like this one. That's that's not that's not gonna work. But I do like this one. Let's come back to this, see if there's anything else we need to see. So the the attic. Okay, so we're in the attic now, and all that's up here is a telescope. You saw the cube? Oh, what about this? What about these dudes, right? Maybe we need to find these constellations. So I'm going to snip it. Boop. Something like that. You'll... Uh, You'll just have to deal with that. All right. And then this is bird food. Okay, that that looks like a bird feeder of some kind. God, I hope the crow doesn't come. The raven. What's the difference between a crow and a raven? Oh, this was in other games by this guy. This this um this parrot I recognize from other games. But we sent this note. We sent this note in another puzzle. Um This was before Emma killed herself, I think. Look for me in the stars. Okay. So he's just gonna just gonna contemplate that letter for a while, I think. So I guess I guess we have to do star stuff. 
which is all that we are, stardom. Um, so, let's see. Who was it? Hale says he saw the cube. Where's the cube, Hale? Not here, right? Not here. Oh, here. I see it. Okay. It's smaller than I expected. That's what she said. That's, that's terrible. I shouldn't, I shouldn't make that a thing, but it's, it's just, it's so, it's just one of those things, like, it jumps out at you, and it's so hard to, uh, to avoid. Um, what do I do with it? Just, oh, just leave it in the sky? Okay. Alright, this is the deer. Is that... I think this is the top one. Okay. Um. Oh god. Oh god. Come back. Oh shoot. Sorry about that. All right. I think this is the, um, this one. Uh, some, something like that. It doesn't look quite right, though. Am I one? I think I'm one too high. How do I reset? Oh god, it just keeps drawing. The crow. Um, okay, there we go. Um, so I think this is the crow. Is that? Yeah, that's right. And then. Aha, okay. This is actually, <laughs> this is harder than I thought. All right, one more. Uh, is it reversed? It looks like it's reversed. But there's no more stars, so... So it has to be this one, the deer, right? But it's just, is it? Yeah, okay, Pale thinks so too. Um, that's not really how constellations work, but okay. Um, so probably like that, and then like this. Oh, it's not reverse. It's just it's just it's just rotated. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Little loose loose. It's it's funny cuz we we seem to do things at the same time, but there's lag. So I think all of you are in actual fact coming up with it before me. But uh it seems like it's the same time. So yeah, it's just I think it's just rotated as opposed to being um if you if you've studied group theory before, uh, a lot of the examples involve taking things and flipping them versus rotating them and stuff like that. So this is like flips but not rotates, or rotates but not flips. Mm -hmm. All right, so this goes up. This little hands thing dips in. Uh, all right, what is this? So. Maybe now we're supposed to do the guy's portrait? What do you think? Uh, I don't remember enough to know what you're talking about. Sorry, love this little. It's too long ago. Maybe both portraits? Mm. 
I, I'm not, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. Um, all right, I'm going to do something. Let's see. How, how, how can I decrease the jankiness of this? Hold on. Oh, my God. I need special tools for this. Crap, that did not work. Crap on a stick. Um, I, I'm trying to figure out how to put both up at the same time, but I can't. Uh, can't do it. So let's just maybe try to find this one. Uh, but it could be rotated? Oh my god. I need. I, I wish I could let one of you take take control because I. This is not my kind of puzzle. So I, all I can ask is: Does anyone have any ideas or something they want me to do to to get me into position for solving this? Pale thinks the six stars in the middle are the actual mother stars. All right, let me let me buck out. Oops. Back back out. Six stars in the middle. Okay, so like this. Do 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 do. Oh, pale. Very nice. Okay, little Lucy Lou agrees. So. Okay. All right, let's go get the other one. Um, not, I don't, it's not really behaving itself, but. Okay, that's what I expected. All right. So, this one, all right, I can, I think I can see this one. Ah, ah! Oh dear. Who's old boy? Oh yeah, old boy, yeah. Okay. Hello, brother. See, he's always talking about brother, and that's what makes me think it's the original too. William... And Augustus. Okay. Okay. We got a lens. The ladder's gone. The parrot's well fed. She said, read my letter. Um, if that's supposed to be a V, maybe we put it over a V. Are there any Vs in this in this message? Have. Also, what are we trying to solve here? Aha, letters. Okay, all right. It all makes sense. So if we put a V over a V... 
It goes L O V E. The secret all along was love. Ah, uh, if only this family knew love. Ah, uh, everything would have been all right. They would have had to kill each other. Wait, what's wrong? There we go. Secret all along was love. <laughs> it actually wasn't his blood. It was the blood of the fiance. It was her nosebleed blood, too, which is... I feel like nosebleed blood is the least romantic blood. Um... I'm not going to go further down that uh, down that avenue of exploration. I'm just going to just going to leave it. All right, we've got two of the medallions. I think it's time to get the third. Looks like we are left with no options. And I think we need the third medallion. Looks like it's going to come down to rose. <clears throat> And Rose, you may remember, is the uh, creature that Albert made in his basement. Pale, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to leave sleeping dogs lie. Oh, I hope it's not a date puzzle. I can't stand date puzzles. I I know it's a mature stream. I just, you know. All right. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I have made the screen blurry, but maybe it's just maybe it's just always been blurry. I'm pretty sure this is a date puzzle. Someone's probably gonna have to uh, put these in chat. Uh, but let's let's see what Rose has to say first. All right, she wants the locket. Well, we knew that Rose. We we figured that much out. Got a shovel. Oh, I can do this. Oh, I, oh yeah. I trained for this. The torso thing. That's somewhere here. The arms. You've got two of these. Um. Oh yeah, this one. This is the fib fibrilla. Um, this is the most common body bone in the body to break. Little kids will break this a lot. Skateboarding. Yeah, it goes right there. You see. <laughs> Delvina, I don't. You know, if I. If I knew you were going to just insult me continuously, I wouldn't have streamed tonight. Um, if, if, if he scratches his nose, it might be up here. But uh, but typically, it's 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 more like down here. We'll come back to this one. We'll come back to that one. We'll come back. We'll come back to that one. Oh, he's got one. Give me that, stupid dog. This is this is the evil. The dog is going to be the villain. I know it. All right, we have to dig up some graves, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's suspicious. Okay, got got it. We've we've already taken all their parts, but we need more parts, so all right, chat. I need you to write down some stuff. So we have to add up. We have to know the symbol and the months and the days. So flower 16, 10, 18, 96. You got to You got to write all this down. I can't do it. I can't write. If I could write, I would do it, but I cannot write. Uh, 
Um, okay, Mary. Oh one oh five nineteen oh four. Um, she's the symbol of the dragon or the cross, I guess. Okay, Ida thirty. Oh, this tells us that we're in Europe or whatever, wherever they do this nonsense. So it goes days, month, year. Um, everyone knows that the year goes first, and then the month, and then the days. So this is a cross. Um, robot is 0302-1926. They're, they're taking notes, Lucy Lou. We have to remember days and months for certain symbols. What Pale is doing, I don't know. I think he's just, um, he's only doing the parts that he needs, but the problem is I don't remember what those numbers are. I, I, I trust Pale to figure it out, though. He's a smart fellow. So we've got another cr a cross, 3012-1904, and, a, and a fib another fibrilla. Okay. Mm James, another cross, 2507-1870. He's a, a, one of the original. Um, you, know, you know who it is? It's Samuel. Vander, Vanderbilt. Um, all right, so, s star plus circle, I don't even remember the circle, but I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you figured all this out, Pale, and I'm going to turn, turn the table to you. What's the secret to the, to the code? 2232? Um, it does not appear to be correct. Are you sure that you added up the months being the second number and the days being the first number? Because that would have thrown me. Um, also, I don't remember the circle. I remember the time, the chronometer thing. I don't remember the mask either. I saw a lot of crosses. So she's the flower. Okay, there's the circle. Ida's the circle. Um Yeah, I'm 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 I i am i okay, alright, tell me. I, I didn't realize the cross wasn't the symbol. So um so flower plus I, flower plus I months, so 10, shit, Ten plus 12, so that's, so 22, so I agree with the first one. All right, Pell says 22, 33. There we go. All right, with our powers combined, um, nice. So Albert has like a whole thing. He doesn't. He's not just buried in the ground. He's uh, he's got like a covering. All right. Now this one is the other fibrilla. These dudes go on the ends, like this. No, no, just kidding. That's a hand. No. This one, this is a hand. That's definitely goes at the end of the fibrilla. Um, okay, yeah, that goes like that. That goes like that. It's easy when you do it like this. Crap, we're still missing a... Still missing another... Uh, next to the shovel. 
Oh, gotcha. That's not how legs go, by the way. Just want you guys to know that's not how legs go. All right. The third amulet. Rose is the rightful heir. And with that, um, we've swept all three medals <clears throat> in this category. All right, everybody, buckle in because uh, we've got one or two more episodes. So Leonard, Frank, and Rose, the survivors, have the alchemical necklaces. Are they going to try to kill each other? Are they going to try to... You vote, you vote for the center one. Are they going to try to cooperate? Are they going to resurrect their great-grandfather? Who knows? Well, maybe one of you have figured it out, but I haven't. Okay, we've got a clock puzzle coming back to where we started. Rose, give me your timepiece. Also yours. And yours, please. Your head is misshapen, but I can forgive you. All right. Okay. So I'm guessing we have to combine these. Bronze was in the book at the start. Have you been taking your own screenshots? That, is that a foot? I think that's a foot. These are really creepy, I just have to say. So I think this is supposed to um, remind us what body parts. So... We've taken their eyes, we've taken his brain, Albert's brain, Ida's. Oh, they have names that are their letters. So Samuel, Ida, Echabod, Albert, Marshmallow. Um, so Samuel has some number associated with it. Do we have to weigh the body parts? Oh, this is a two rumor. This is a big one. We've been keeping these in the cellar for safekeeping. Um, okay. 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 Oh, these are times, I think. They all, I believe, have the same time, which is something like 245. Yeah, I think they all have the same time of 245. Oh, dear. This, I feel like whenever you're thinking about this, things have things have gotten out of control. Yep, things are out. Oh, hello. She's uh, she's not trapped by the tree. Good, 245, what do we got? Oh, just get in the clock. Just hop on in. Oh. So I thought maybe she was gonna somehow win this thing, but it seems like she is not. All right, so she's hopped in the clock. 
Okay, so we're out of hints. Yeah, maybe she's the fat man. Um, or maybe because she's not a real person, she's, she, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, maybe pale. Because she's not like a real person, she becomes a real person. Um, okay. I don't really understand this puzzle. So there's a balance. So things something something about has to even out or weigh or um, be equal maybe in some way. This represents Samuel, Marshmallow. Well, she was she wasn't. I wouldn't call that in vitro fertilization. I mean, there wasn't an egg involved. The egg was a seed from a tree. So she's like half tree. I mean, that's got to that's got to at least be called like genetic engineered human or something like that. She's half tree. Tree shaming. Um. All right. So Ida has a Ida has a number. Emma has a number. Marshmallow has a number. A a a Albert has a number. So how does this go? How, how does this work out? This is... I don't, I don't remember him. Um, this is Frank. He has a three and a swizzle. Who's Frank? Um, no, I think it's, I think it has, has to do with this chest. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. But like, if F is three. Um, uh, hold on just a second. Okay. Um, all right. So little Lucifer says there were numbers on their body parts in the cabinet. This cabinet, or oh, it opened. Okay. All right. It opened up. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you had seen this because uh, you're more observant than me and Delvina too. But at least it's opened up now. We can read it better. So, okay, cool. So, Frank. Um, all right. I think we need a lot of notes for this one. Um, James. Wait, did, did James? So, I don't even remember. What's this guy's name? So L lost a foot. This doesn't have numbers. All right, but F is three. Frank is three. Frank lost his beard. So this beard has to be three. All right, one down. I'll let y'all do the rest. Leonard. Okay, good. Um, so Leonard lost a foot. I think there can be two threes. Right? Yeah, there's actually three threes. Interesting. It pushes the other one up. So we're going at mm, wage them? Measure. I think we have to take the numbers. Some of the numbers are given. Like, did we cut James' tongue out so the tongue is one? 
Um, a Libra. Oh, I get you, little Lucy Lou. So, for example, um, well, actually, if there's th if there's three, it's kind of weird because it's not clear to me that there's a um, um, there's only one thing at play. It looks like it's balancing across a bunch of different stuff. See, see, like it's kind of weird. Like the five is affecting the three, I think. Or, oh, oh, I see what you're saying. You think. So I get the idea, but I don't quite understand. So if I move this to here, are you hoping that like are you saying that this must be three because it's at the same height as this? Or like how do you actually tell whether something's three that I put on the three? It's not it's not clear to me how these balances are working. Uh. All right, I like your idea, Pedal. So we know the tongue is one, right? Like, you guys are checking me on that. The tongue is one. And, um,. It goes down that much. Oh, oh, ooh. Okay, yeah, that's good. So the ones start at the same position. So if we put something on it and it goes down one little click, we know it's a one. So let's let's try figuring out what the ones are. All right, it's not that. It's not the eyeball. It's probably not the brain. Yeah. I can't, I can't remember. Is it the foot? Not the foot. Is it this? Whatever this is. Could be this, right? I think maybe this is a little bit low, but let's try the teeth. Teeth's really heavy. To the tooth is. So this maybe? That actually seems low to me, don't you think? Did I miss anything? Did I do something stupid? Did I try both eyeballs? Yeah, it seems low to me, too. So I think we've tried everything, and I don't think anything looks right, which means that there's a more complicated interaction between these plungers. That's that's my take on it. But I, I maybe see complexity where there isn't complexity. So... Okay. All right. So we know for sure the tongue is one. We know for sure... I don't know what this is. I have no no clue what that says. Uh, okay, we we think that the hair is three. We think that the tongue is one. Those are the only numbers that I think we can figure out. Uh, and then these numbers go from zero to nine. My guess is that we have to put in numbers that are their body parts. I thought James was the tongue. I thought Jay was the tongue. I mean, am I wrong? This looks like a tongue to me.
So what happened to James? James drank the poison slash potion and died. And then what did we do to James? For teeth? So if James, I, th I thought it was, I thought we cut it with a knife. So maybe these are teeth, Delvina. Maybe Maud lost her teeth. But then why why do you think that's one? That's that's what I don't quite follow. I don't think we know whether they're one or not. Okay. All right. So, yeah, it's confusing because what else is in a mouth but a tongue? I, I know that you're, you know, really focused on tongues, but, um, all right. So, so what do we do with all this? literally just said what? You better watch it. I'll give you a time out. All right. You need, you need a Charlie, a Charlie board. Yeah. Like, in, uh, um, always sunny. All right. Now I think what, I think what we did earlier, Oh, okay. I like that idea, little Lucy Lou. So what if, what if the weight of the two things that we place on the ones has to equal one? So we need to find the two things that balance to one. And if the tongue is one, that's too heavy. Yeah, I think I think we need to find the things that add up to one. So what's lighter than a tongue? Does that make sense? Do you want me to try that? All right, so eyeballs are super heavy, right? Um, how, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Forget the tongue for now. There's, there's really, I don't, I feel like there's no good way to do this except for exhaustion. So that's probably not what they want you to do. Surely the eyeballs are the same weight. Well, we should be able to test that, right? Um, okay, I, I take my theory back. I don't like it anymore. I'm back to the first thing. I feel like the tongue is, oh, I don't like either of these. I really wish I could take these things off and put them next to the shelf. So let's reset all these things and see what these plungers look like. But you can't do that. I have no idea. I have no idea, Delina. It could be that you need to put the things on it that weigh five. It could be you need to put the things on it whose sum weight is five. It could be um, I don't even know. It could be anything. What just happened? Did I just lose the foot? <laughs> I just lost the brains and the foot. Oh god, I've glitched it. I've glitched it. 
I've glitched it super hard. Is it working? Can we trust it? Oh, uh, what if we have to get all of them the same height? I think I think that's it. I have no idea. I have no clue. Um Yeah, all we need, all we know is that tongue is associated with one. We don't know if that means whether it weighs one or maybe it it weighs half, but it's associated with one. And the hair is associated with three. But then there's also the symbol. You know, what what is that symbol other than a polyworld? Um, and what's this? She didn't lose anything, did she? She. We don't have any of her bits. I don't think we have any of her pieces. We pricked her finger, but we didn't take any pieces, did we? From her body? Or am I already forgetting? Well, I guess it could be, but you'd think it would be drawn on his chin. Did we put... Did we put blood in a bottle? I don't remember that. Uh, I, th I, I think you were. You think this is the vial? Oh, this is the vial of blood? God, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I guess. I just don't remember doing it. I mean, it's it's Rose, so I think you were here. But I don't remember doing it. Hey, now, that may not be the solution, but this might be useful. So if I move, yeah, look, these plungers react differently, so they're not just weighing across stuff. Um, but see how when I took this off of here, it doesn't affect this. But when I swap these, they actually sit in different places. So, that, so like, I think maybe it's grouped by number somehow. I think we're trying to find all the numbers for the cupboard, yeah. Uh, we're also, there's also this bit, which is, this is bronze, and it has, like, a hole in it, and this is silver, and this is gold, and I think they correspond to these numbers. Um... But I, have, I, I really don't know what we're looking for here. And we only know two numbers, and we don't really know what those numbers mean. Like, does that mean that the tongue goes on one? I don't know. I think this is the scale to help me know. Um, 
Kale, what do you mean? I have numbers for body parts for persons. Oh, I thought you were saying that we need to find the scale in order to find the numbers. Um, hey, there's only one four. Yeah, so there's two fives, there's two twos, there's two ones, there's only one four, and there's three threes. E.G. E.g. brain has 3, so A equals 3. What's E.g.? Emma... I don't know who G is. Oh, uh, well, I, I guess it would be, but you, you need to do E period, G period, because I thought it was just letters. Um, Uh, but where do you get brain has three? What is, where, where do you get brain has three? Well, no, these aren't, this, this isn't. So, okay, maybe, but I don't understand what this is. This isn't like a scale. This is just plungers that have numbers written on them. We don't know what that means. We don't, I mean, it seems that um, the eyeballs weigh the same, and you, you could assume that, but I don't, I don't know what the numbers mean. Try, but try what, Pale? Just just because A is 3, what do I do with A is 3? Like, there's five other numbers. So you're, okay. So you're saying, um, all right, let's try it. Let's try it. Emma lost her teeth, right? Or no, the mother lost the teeth. Claire, I can't, I can't, I have no idea what their names are. The M M lost her teeth. Um, Emma lost her. I I have no idea what Emma lost. It looks like tears. Was it tears? Okay. All right, so this must be tears. All right, I, I vaguely remember that now. All right, are you writing all this down, Pale? So tears is four, 
It's theoretically possibly, according to this theory. But uh, this theory is bunk. I mean, right? Like, 5 isn't balanced. Like, this is, this is very, this is, it almost definitely doesn't mean anything. All right, you got it all. So n is three. You you sand. I is one. E is four. Um, Samuel uh, and R. Oh, R is Rose. Rose is blood. So Rose is blood. Um, Samuel. Samuel is an, an I. Um. And uh, <coughs> S is one, and Rose is two. As far as I can tell, nothing. Um, l let me try an experiment. So right now, these are balanced where the eyes are on one and the feet and the blood are on two, right? And we can swap these and stay balanced. But can we swap these? So the numbers are, are somehow meaningful, right? Like they affect the way the balance goes. Did you see what I just did? Like. Um, but the foot and the blood still come out even. So let's see if it, if we move it to, uh, let's say, um, eyeball. So there we go. So maybe we have to push them all the way down. So... Well, I don't, I don't... I don't think that's going to be it, but but something. But it, it just it matters how far down it goes based on what number it's on, which is kind of a weird property. Like it's not it's not simple. Um, there's only one four. Oops. But yeah, I feel like um, and and we're missing a body part, right? We're missing there's supposed to be ten, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're missing one body part. Oh, yeah, maybe it's just an algebra problem. Maybe it's just an algebra problem. So um, we know that we know that blood and foot weigh the same. And we know that um, brain, teeth, and hair weigh the same. And we know eyes weigh the same. Yeah, that kind of stuff. So those are constraints. But... We're still missing a body part. Maybe, maybe that just comes comes part of the story later, but um, we don't know which one of these is supposed to be empty. But uh, but yeah, blood and foot 
blood and foot are equal. Um, teeth, tongue, sorry, brain, teeth, and hair are equal. Now let's test that theory. I'm going to weigh hair and teeth against each other on two. And it should be balanced. And they are balanced. And we can replace either one of them with brains and they stay balanced. Okay. So we can use this to do at least balancing. So we can we can do algebraic constraints. Um, but there's a lot of variables. I I don't know if I want to keep track of all this. Should I should I put up a notepad document? How do we is there an easier way to do this? Um, uh, yeah, that's true. So if there's three that equal each other, they have to be on the threes, right? Um, help, help me again. Uh, I, uh, I agree, little Lucia, but I've forgotten what the third three was. The teeth. Is that it? Teeth, brain, and hair? I think it's teeth, brain, and hair. Um, and blood and foot. Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, it's really simple now. It's really simple. So, if we know that the tongue is one, um, we just have to find the thing that balances the tongue. So if the tongue is one... Oh, but didn't we try this to begin with? Why? So, but it says tongue is one, right? Maybe. But I, did th I do think we tried this. Um... Yeah, it can't, it can't be, it, well, the thing is, is that there's multiple singletons, right? So, oh, okay, let's work from the threes and let's make everything that level. And that's probably what I had before, but now I'm actually behind the idea. All right, so let's put one and one, I'm, I'm totally into this now. Like, um, right. Okay. So I think, I think we're right here. Yeah. So somehow I had lucked into it, but now I believe it, but we're not, um, we're not doing the right thing with it somehow. So. Well, we're missing another five for sure. But what about these numbers? Oh, really, Pale? How did you figure that out so quick? If you're right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some bits. Alright, you're not right. But A for effort. So let's try this again. Let's pretend that this makes sense. Okay. Um, Okay, and um, okay, good. You misclicked, miscalculated. So, 
we, we should probably figure this up once and for all, but Samuel's the eye. How do you figure a five? Also, did these numbers you set? Why are these numbers? Did I, did I just move this? How do you get a five, Pale? Um, how do you get a five for Samuel? So Samuel lost an I. Wouldn't you say the I is one? So you're saying how many slots does it push down or something? Or All right, well, I, I don't follow, but um, I have 535, 235, and I can't seem to do anything. Two, three, four, where? On the bottom? So I you'll have to explain that to me because I don't understand. Um, but we certainly, we certainly each figured out pieces of that. Um, so nice job, everybody. So it's the heart, I'm missing the heart. And this says balance the substance of your past lives, which I think we've already done. All right, now the tree's gonna drink all this stuff up. I feel like maybe we shouldn't have done this. Oops, are these supposed to be in order? Because I'm just clicking. So it's basically, you're subtracting one from just it's it's five minus whatever was on the plunger or some I have I have no clue. Still I still don't know. Is it just five minus what was on the plunger? My guess is that that's not how the uh, designers thought about it. Um, but I get you. I get you. But yeah, I get you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Got you. Um, <laughs> and, so, and so on for the for the other two. I got you. Um, all right. Uh, but uh, to be to be fair, I mean, one one could also just simply say, no, it's not five minus x; it's six minus x. Right? That's that's the same thing. 
6 minus 1 is 5, 6 minus 2 is 4, 6 minus 3 is 3, 6 minus 4 is 2, 6 minus 5 is 1. <laughs> it's a, I feel like yours is a little bit more complicated. <laughs> and I, I was wrong, but I was only off by 1. All right, anyway. Um, <laughs> so uh, this tree, I feel like, is the bad guy here. And there's something evil, maybe, up its branches. Oh, this is actually a puzzle. So we're in a, we're in a puzzle now. Um, all right, hold on just a second. <clears throat> All right, this is pretty crazy. What? So, okay, I think we're creating a human. Well, I, I think I can do this. What in the world? So it's definitely turning into the um, the brother William. Um, I hope I'm not supposed to put this in a particular order. It's a very strange thing. Like why is it going all the way to him and then changing, and then coming um, coming back again? I don't know what the order would be if we had to do an order, but it, it feels less like alchemy and more like um, Frankenstein, since he needs two eyes. It's it's not just you know sight. He, need, he needs two eyes, a tongue, a heart. Like we're just making a thing. So Rose, is gonna take care of this creature, I guess. What a weird ass game. Oof! Wow, what a weird game. I still have no idea what we just did, but I think. I think um, we resurrected William, but we never really saw the other brother. People make babies in such weird ways. Uh, yeah, I hate, I hate to break it to you, but um, uh, it ain't storks. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for coming. And um, I had a lot of fun with this. I thought, uh, I thought it was super cool how we could work together and figure out different parts of it. Um, I certainly wouldn't have been able to get through this by myself without spoiling some of it. Um, yes, yeah, to, to make to make each baby, you have to kill twelve new uh, twelve old people. Um, that that wouldn't work out for very long. So um, so yeah, if if you like this, you know, let me know in, in Discord. Give me. Uh, some feedback. Maybe we'll play something like this again. I'm um, not sure what we'll play tomorrow, but it probably will not be an adventure game. So uh, I hope to see you all then. Have a nice night.